Okay, I'm going to do a video on Lightburn. Um, I'm using a camera. Um, I just installed it. I had some problems because I have Mac OS. And, well, I'm not really sure how I got it all working, but I did get it all working. So, this is my piece. I already did this, but just goofing around. And here's another piece of plywood or uh, cardboard. I have a 100 watt. Uh, CO2 laser. And it's a pretty big Chinese machine. Um, but I'm going to show you how this will work. Now, what I'm going to do is I go up here and I click, and you'll see right here, I click on this camera. That'll update it. So I have downtown right there. Now, I can move that somewhere else if I want to. Sorry about all the camera mess up. Um, and I'm going to re-take a picture and see it adjusted that picture when I hit that little camera up there. So now I'm going to mark this. And after this gets marked, um, I will then pull the cardboard away, put another... Uh, text on there get it exactly where I want it and then burn it in it's amazing uh, I've only had the camera on here for about ooh, I don't know an hour and you want to make sure that when your camera is situated that it always stays situated like that now that's my camera there it's just a ten dollar web camera I got off of eBay and it worked great and I had this bungee cord on there because if I move the lid I know I can put the bungee cord right back to where it is and that camera will be in the same spot so you got to make sure of that uh, we're almost done here now I'm going to First off, I'm going to move this. I'm going to move this over here. So it's all messed up now. And over here, I'm going to get rid of this. So I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to put up another text. We'll say, uh, Dave. Uh, N. Linda, uh, and I'll, I'll make Dave a capital. Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to recapture, go up there to that timer, click on it again. Now I can see where my downtown is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Dave and Linda up here to the pointer, take Dave and Linda up here. Now I know exactly where that's going to sit over top of Dave and Linda. So now I can, even though I moved it, once I recaptured it, I'm going to start. And you'll see, it goes exactly where I want it to. Sorry if this uh, video is a bit on the lengthy side, but... <clears throat> but you can see how it's it's coming out exactly the way it's shown here. Of course, the uh, the image on the camera isn't the best, but it it lines everything up very nicely. Um, so, yeah, a ten dollar cheap webcam and. I tried a 720p and that camera did not work. I have to turn it back in. I got a uh, little anxious, went to Walmart, picked one up, but it didn't work. So the one in uh, eBay came today. It was the same exact camera, but it was a 1080p and that one worked fine. Now I'm sure if you got a 4K, uh, you'd get better pictures, but 
better pictures or not, they still come out good. Plenty good enough to do what you need to do. So I'm going to move this once this is done. Now I'm going to move this again and I'll just bring it over here. As a matter of fact, I'll bring it, I'll bring it over here too. Let's go over there. Okay, so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to get rid of this one. And I'm going to put... Uh... Okay, hang it, heading on down to... And I'll make that a capital H. Now, I'm going to recapture, and as you can see, it's, it's over here, so I'm going to get my pointer, drag that over there, we'll re-zoom into this area, I'm going to arch that, and then I'm going to bring it in. I mean, this is how cool this is. Now, that's where I want it. So now, I go and hit the burn start. And you'll see, it'll come right to the position as to where it is now. And now it's starting again. And even though my uh, cardboard is crooked, it makes the adjustment for that exactly how I put it on uh, the screen. So how cool is that? So if you have a precision item that you want to make sure you're inside the lines uh, this works out great. I'm really happy with it. So it brings a new dimension to the kind of work. I used to kind of keep going over it with the frame until I got the frame closed. And I'd get closed, but boy, this is right on the money. So real happy with that. I'm glad Lightburn software exists because it's awesome. It's an awesome software. So there you go. It's all done. And you can see the end result. Perfect. Alright. Hope you like.